Hi, today I'll talk about a fat shedding diet secret, but before I begin, let me ask you a question. Have you ever asked yourself why are you fat? Every time you look into the mirror, wondering why people out there are having a nice summer body with full confidence while you're still struggling with your recently sized up t-shirt, you might even be wondering, are you going to be like them one day? Are there any chances for you to change? Well, of course there are. However, summer bodies don't come with ease. People spend time and effort to make themselves look good. But what's important is that you're healthy from the inside out. When I say fat burn, the first thing that comes into your mind will be exercise. Yes, of course you need to exercise to have a nice summer body. But do you know that our eating habit affects our body the most? Having an unhealthy lifestyle not only slows down your metabolism, but also brings you chronic diseases. With a slow metabolic system, you can even gain weight by only drinking water. This is also the reason why some people slim down at a very slow rate, but gain all the weight back in one night. Slimming down is good, but slimming down healthily is the key point here. We want you to look into your health first, instead of focusing on how you're going to slim down. Now, let's talk about the fat shedding diet secret. We all know that our bodies need a certain amount of fat for optimal functioning, but we need to know what are the right kinds of fat to consume in moderation. Some fats should be avoided at all costs, but some fats are actually good for you. Bad fats increase cholesterol and risk of diseases, but good fats protect your heart and are essential to your physical and emotional health. But the question is, how do you identify which is which? So, let's learn about fats. Basically, there are two groups of fats, saturated fats and unsaturated fats, and within each group are more types of fats. Unsaturated fats are the good fats. They include polyunsaturated fatty acids and monounsaturated fats. These fats can help lower your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart disease if you learn to eat them in moderation in replacement of saturated or trans fats. Polyunsaturated fats are mostly found in vegetable oils. Omega-3 in fatty fish and walnuts are really beneficial to health. It helps lower both blood cholesterol level and decrease cardiovascular disease. Monounsaturated fats are a good source of antioxidant vitamin E. These types of fats are typically liquid at room temperature but solidify if refrigerated. Olive oil is a great choice. Mediterranean countries consume lots of it as its dietary component is credited with the low levels of heart disease in those countries. Saturated fats are the bad fats found in animal products and in vegetable fats that are liquid at room temperature such as coconut and palm. Saturated fats are bad if consumed in a large scale. You should keep it under 10% of your total calories. Let's talk about the evil fats here. We've been hearing a lot about trans fatty acids or trans fats these days. Trans fats are even more dangerous than saturated fats. These evil fats have absolutely no positive benefit to the human body in any way, yet they've been scientifically proven to harm the body in many ways. Trans fats can increase your bad or LDL cholesterol levels, lower your good or HDL cholesterol levels, cause heart disease, strokes, and diabetes. Artificial trans fats are extensively used in frying, baked goods like cookies, crackers, icings, packaged snacks, and certain margarines. You're probably consuming trans fats on a daily basis. Considering the fact that it's unanimously agreed upon by everyone in the nutrition field that trans fats are really bad for your health, you should either consume minimal trans fats in your diet or pretty much avoid completely for best results. Now that you've learned about fats, it's time to learn how to design your own diet to shed those extra pounds. Creating a weight loss diet that caters to your own taste preferences is the golden rule to a successful diet plan. Don't go for an extreme diet plan just because you're desperate for a drastic change in your weight. It's unrealistic and you rarely get to your goal. Ideally, small changes in a healthy direction over time works magic on your body. Follow these simple, magical steps to creating your own fat shedding diet. Identify your current diet. Keep a careful diary log of your normal food intake for seven days. Eat as per usual, but keep record of what you have consumed each day, how much at each meal or snack. For example, how many bowls of cereal? One or two? How much milk? What type of milk? And then you calculate the amount of calories you intake for each meal, add all seven days total calories intake, and divide by seven. This will give you a good idea of the caloric intake you're currently consuming at your current body weight. Design a new diet. Dream big, but start small. Be realistic and take small steps towards big success. A safe weight loss that will most likely be permanently consistent is one pound a week. Do your math. One pound is equal to 3,500 calories. 
3,500 divided by 7 days a week equals 500 calories each day. Identify your daily average calorie count and subtract 500 calories. However, keep in mind that you should not lower your calorie intake to less than 1,500 without advice from a professional registered dietitian. Play of substitution. Don't quit food. Learn to substitute healthier foods that you like and reduce portions of high calorie foods that you like so you can achieve the new lower daily calorie count. Let's just say you love burgers and almost can't live without them. It's okay. Eat a burger. But instead of eating the whole thing as is, lower its calorie count by cutting the portion size or substituting a certain ingredient. Eat half of it rather than the whole. Opt for lean chicken meat rather than fattening beef patty. A sprinkle of chili flakes instead of oozing chili sauce. The easiest and most possible way to achieve huge calorie savings is by changing the way your favorite foods are prepared. Avoid frying and rich or thick sauces. Opt for steam, bake, broil, roast, or even better, just eat it fresh. Next, I'd like to share with you the secret to staying full. Are you always hungry? Do you eat more than three meals a day but still feel hungry all the time? Have you ever wondered why? The secret is to reach for foods that satisfy your tummy instead of ones that only cater to your appetite but leave you hungry for more. In a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, researchers found that some high-calorie foods, like bakery treats, not only don't make you full, but they actually trigger your appetite. In the research experiment, participants who were fed a meal of such foods actually ended up eating twice as much over the rest of the day, 3,000 calories in all, as compared to those participants fed a low-fat and low-calorie meal. Now, here's the deal. Find fitter fast food. Look for low-fat, low-calorie, and fulfilling options. Brown rice, grilled skinless lean meat, whole wheat bread, salads, they're extremely filling actually, soup, and best yet, plain water goes along with any meal and you'll feel full for sure. So, that's it. The ultimate secret to a fat shedding diet. Learn about your food, eat smart, and you'll be shedding those fats away with not just a healthy body, but also a happy tummy.